So I, I guess to start with the public benefit corporation move, um, this is something that we've been talking about for a long time. It's been in our DNA. It's been part of our, uh, I suppose, ethos as, as founders for a very long time. And I'd say the simplest way to describe it is if it was available to us day one, we would have been a public benefit corporation from day one. Um, it was about 18 months ago or so, I believe. I'm not totally familiar with the technicalities of it, but um, when Delaware uh, acknowledged that a B Corp could exist as a, as a Delaware corporation, uh, and we then started work on making that, making that technical shift. So we're basically held to um, a series of benefits that we define and we've got to prove that we are upholding those benefits as a, as a company. So it's really no different uh, to our fiduciary responsibility, but it's about other benefits, say for the community and, and so forth. Yeah, so we, we launched in the midst of the financial crisis. That was certainly not a planned thing. Um, but, you know, when you're in the throes of building a company, uh, you don't stop, right? And it just so happened that this was going on at the time that we were building. It just so happened that this was exploding while we launched. Um, didn't really seem to impact us, thankfully. Um, yeah, it wasn't at all by design. It's always been part of the, the narrative that, that creators promote their own projects. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, even email, the bar, tell people about your project. Uh, your mom, your dad, uh, it's always been part of the narrative of how, how projects get propelled forward. Um, it is about the creator telling that story. Yeah, so fa Facebook was, was, was younger, but it's, it's always been a, a, a huge kind of propellant towards, uh, for campaigns. Yeah, you know, I think um, we get asked this a lot, like what are, what are the, the characteristics of a, of a great project? And I, I just think truthfully, it's about um, finding your own personal spirit. It's about your own personal story, your own personal connection to the idea. Um, it's your project. Uh, and so, you know, I, I tend to not give advice that is going to be duplicitous of another, another project, but really it's just about being you, because that's who's going to deliver the, the, the rewards when it's time to deliver the rewards. That's the one who's got to follow through with the project. You. Yeah, so I, I think the most unsuccessful campaigns are the ones that don't tell anybody about it. So they, they launch it and think that if I launch it, they will come. Um, but you have to at least tell your mom, right? Uh, and so, you know, I think that's that's the, that's really the start. Um, is just you know, once you once you commit to putting the thing uh, up, and uh, it's then about telling at least one person, and one person leads to the next person. Um, yeah, and your mom will tell everybody. Uh, so. Um, I've got a few things on my mind that I'm sort of tinkering with, experimenting with, uh, in this sort of same vein of creative self-expression or creative independence. Um, nothing I'm really going to talk about right now. We'll kind of leave it at that. But uh, yeah, definitely tinkering. Yeah, so you know, I think um, as a young entrepreneur, there's advice coming from everywhere. Uh, and I think that one of the hardest things at times as an entrepreneur in your sort of cave of your company, uh, when it's, if you're a sole founder, just yourself, or you and your co-founders, you're huddled around that little fire, uh, is the ability to focus and stay true to that thesis that you were trying to prove out. What it was it that got you to the point of even taking that first leap uh, of faith on yourself and, and this idea? Um, coming back to that is always really important.